what is software quality assurance or SQA? It's probably the job that Mrs. Cooksmart is doing. Uh, yeah, it's 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 precisely that. Suppose you hire some people, you have to develop a software. You hire some people, or in case of big companies, they simply offload the job. They hire a contractor. Yeah. The contractor's job will to hire people and get the job done. Now, the software company has to pay the contractor on milestones. Okay, you have done so much, now I pay you this much. Then again, you have done so much, I pay you this much. Now imagine, you have got a marriage party going on in your house. You have got a uh, contractor who has, who, uh, who has uh, hired some cooks. You have asked the contractor to buy the raw materials and give the raw materials to the cook and the cooks are cooking right in your premises. Mm. Now you need someone mm. you trust to mm. check if the contractor has bought the right quality inputs. Yeah. And also you need someone to check if the cook is good enough. Mm. Otherwise, ultimately you are going to face embarrassment in front of the guests. So, you need to hire some quality assurance person who will sit right there and inspect everything that is going on. Clear? So, the same thing, the same thing is done by the company who is getting his software made. He has people who checks every step that the software professionals are doing. So, in other words, the SQA person should mm. know everything. Mm. I may not do it, but I should know all about it. Yeah, you should know all about it. So, knowledge is very important. Without that, you cannot ensure quality. Is it clear? Right. So, what is software quality assurance or SQA? SQA is precisely that. Software quality assurance consists of a means of monitoring the software engineering processes and methods used to ensure quality. It does this by means of audits of the quality management system under which the software system is created. These audits are backed by one or more standards usually ISO 9000 or CMMI. What is CMMI? Yeah, I am coming to that. Here we read a few more terms. Audits, quality management system software engineering well first thing is very clear that uh, somebody has to uh, monitor everything that is going on while a software is being developed now a software development may involve millions of dollars sometimes sometimes even more so it's a high stake project some software development is even discarded midway. Suppose a client has paid a few million dollars and then the client discovers that the people who are developing the software are not able to deliver what the client wants. Then client discards the project losing those millions of dollars. And these things happen frequently. So right from the beginning, the client should be very, very cautious that everything that is going on is going to help the client's need ultimately. Now, in case of software, as it is a very big and huge market and there are very big companies involved, the whole process is more structured than a marriage party. There are specialized people who certify the vendors. The vendors supply software. Now there are specialized people who go to the vendor's office, look at their documents and check if they have got institutionalized knowledge available to them. So that can tell us if this vendor, if hired in future, will deliver us 
the goods that you want. For example, you have got two vendors. I give you one example. You have got two vendors, okay? Yeah. One vendor has got a star performer, a great computer programmer. He knows everything. But there are three others who are not that good. And but this vendor does not have any institutionalized knowledge. That is only that star performer knows what all needs to be done. Now there, there is a vendor two. Vendor two has got same four people. No one is a star performer. But vendor two had a star performer in the past. And from that star performer, the vendor two has made some video cassettes, uh, video records, which uh, documents the whole process. What to do and how to do. How to uh, develop a software. So entire thing, entire knowledge is institutionalized in vendor 2. But in vendor 1, the whole outcome depends upon one particular star employee. Now you want to hire one of them for a project which lasts for let's say one year. Hmm. Now, which one uh, will you prefer? The one who has got his systems institutionalized. Why? Because uh, if that uh, single star performer had left the other option, then I'm left high and dry. Whereas when systems are institutionalized, come on me, I will get what I want. Exactly. So, as you ask me what is CMMI, CMMI is basically a, 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 a system of procedures. Is it some kind of a body which, uh, is it a full form for it? Is it kind of governing body which... Uh, yeah, it is a governing body but the more important thing is the underlying philosophy. It has laid down these criteria. I just gave you one example right now that CMMI says that okay, its auditors go to an organization, it first looks for the institutionalized knowledge. If they find it, they grade that software vendor to a higher level. Now similarly, there are such laid down, many such laid down norms which the auditors check. And then they grade that software vendor to CMMI level 1, maturity yeah, level. I am coming to that in the next uh, slide. Okay. But before that, try to learn the basic philosophy. The basic philosophy is these CMMI has got these uh, norms laid down. And these norms are applied by the auditors yeah. on the software vendors. The software vendors pay for these audits. If they get a very high recommendation from these auditors. Can we say these are things like standardization bureaus? Yeah, these are standardizations. These are some standard questions asked. And uh, according to the answers given by the respective companies, the companies get different ratings. Now suppose you get CMMI level 5 which is the highest level. Then the company or the, the software vendor when they try to bid for a new job they can impress the client saying that look we have got CMMI level 5. So we, we offer you very high reliability that we must finish the project in time. We have got the manpower. We have got the institutional knowledge. Our system is very structured. So, the CMMI, ISO 9000, etc. These are all different standards and there are auditors which check if the respective software vendors are implementing those standards in their day-to-day -day operation. 